Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and today we are going to be doing new makeup nonsense bingo. This was a, well if you're not familiar with new makeup nonsense bingo, it was not created by me, it was created by one and only Emily Henhan. Um, and essentially what we do, what we do, I tag along, I'm not really like part of the core group, but that's okay. Um, I'm working my way in. <laughs> slowly but surely. Um, what we do is um, look at some new makeup releases and we also play bingo and we like mark off a bingo card. It's a lot of fun. Um, Teresa is dead, also plays along. It's like Emily's brainchild it seems, then Teresa tagged along and it was a collaboration between just those two. And then Audra at home and spooky lips and fat hips. I always want to flip, put my thing down, flip it and reverse it with that that's the problem. That's the problem. Anyway, go and support and follow those other creators if you did not get to my video channel from them. They're all amazing. I love them. They're a lot of fun. So what we do is we imbibe in something. Um, I just realized I don't have a lip on. Don't know that I love this look with this look, but it's fine. It's where we're at. I will be drinking a white claw. I will be playing with the Oh, point that way. This bingo card over here. And I will link, not link, but I will put everything that I'm talking about in my description below um, in case you want to play along and you want to use the same things that I did. And then all of the other information about how to play along and uh, the tags for it will also be in my description uh, just to kind of pay it forward because this is a collaborative kind of uh, video. Wow, I feel like I did all of that wrong. So editing Tom might pop in at any given time to make sense of anything. I have to admit, I'm on my third beverage of the day. But that doesn't mean that this is going to be any less quality. I And I, like, they were, I started drinking at four. It is almost eight o'clock. But I've only had, like, two of these. So, anyway, this one's black cherry. Did I say it was black cherry? Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I pulled were the Bite Beauty Daycation Whipped Cream Blush. It's a clean, long-wearing, creamy blush that's easy to apply and blends seamlessly for a luminous, just got back from vacation glow. Has papaya, whipped. So, mm, I, hold on, let me just take a sip. I hate these containers so much. Why do they look like this? You're not gonna be able to get all the product out. Also, like they look like they're like sparkly and not, I've seen, I don't have it on, <laughs> I don't have it on my phone. I didn't take a screenshot of it, but I saw swatches of it. And on the deeper complexions, they like looked really ashy, all of them, even the deepest one. And I can't tell if it's because of like reflect from the sparkles. I don't know. All of, everything about these is like decidedly not for me. They almost look metallic and I don't mind a shiny blush, but I definitely don't want like this. Uh, there's also a, these, the colors are just like, there's two purples and there's like two goldish. Okay. I'm going to put this as a complexion release with a terrible range because like four shades is literally nothing for a blush collection. And I'm not even saying that they don't go deep enough, but like wh what, what, what is this color selection? What is this color selection? I just, I don't, I don't. So Danessa Myricks is releasing six new sheets in the Color Fix Foils collection. So this like screams just like mermaid 2016. Remember like when mermaid, everything was like mermaid and unicorn. This like screams like that trend to me. And it like makes me feel really good because I like, I like trust Danessa Myricks, even though, uh, the, I, the two things I have from her, I never use. I'm afraid to put them on my eyes. I don't know why. I think they're like not going to work for me. I like, don't like this eye look. Just let it be known that like I put this on and then I was like, I like this. I like this. I like this. And then I like, don't like it, but it's like something, you know, we did something. Do I like it? I might like it. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm feeling like, have you ever just like feel like really out of your body? Like I feel very out of my body today. Very out of my body. Anyway, moving on. I think this model looks gorgeous. 
I, I don't know why I'm so afraid to put these on my eyeballs. I don't have the foils. I have the two of the neon shades and I wanted, I bought them because I was, I want them to replace my water activated neons because I'm kind of just over water activated things. I don't feel like the formula ever works out to be exactly the same. I just like don't find them easy to use. And I was like, well, if it's already a liquid, then it should be easier to use. Anyway, I do think these are stunning. I don't think these are anything that I'm going to buy. I do think that these ones have like real glitter in them. And again, I'm trying to avoid, trying to avoid non-biodegrade, like glitter that doesn't biodegrade. I So I don't think these are going to be something that I particularly buy, but I think they do look beautiful. Also, if I feel like if I'm, I don't know, it's like, I would never be able to get them to look like it looks like on this model. Like, I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, that's just like, I wouldn't be able to do that. I think I'm drawing a scratch on that one. So. So announced and released today were Victoria Beckham's matte, new matte bronzing brick. So it's a bronzer powder duo. It has two soft matte tones so you can customize your bronze for a natural sun-kissed glow. I'm very interested in this. So it comes in six different compacts. Now, my only concern is I do own one of the shadow bricks and they're not very big, but they do contain a lot of shadow in them for not being very big. And that's a very, it's deceiving looking at them. I don't know that I like the shape of this contact, contact, compact for, a, I'm just like thinking about my, I lost a contact on the floor today. Wow, I have 70 bajillion different thoughts going on at once. However, so she has, there are six different uh, duos, I guess that you would call them. But I don't think I, if it is a small, if it was one shade, I wouldn't mind it being in this brick form. But the fact that it's two, I think it's just like a little bit too small of a compact. Unless this is like slightly bigger, I do not know. But I think they look gorgeous. Uh, and I probably, it's like, so what I've been doing, because I'm trying not to buy everything that catches my eye, is I have a list of stuff going that I want, and then I put it in a hierarchy, right? Like, if I have extra money, this is product that I'm going to buy. But this, this is going on that list, for sure. I am going to put this on the put it on my face because I want just just we want just we want just we I am want that's not correct and conjugation sucks this one's a little bit different a little bit weird a little bit out of the box so now it says Too Faced UK on this post so I don't know if these are coming back to America but Too Faced is re-releasing their Love Flush Blush uh, it's available in five shades. The blushes have been formulated with tropical cocoa butter. Now, I don't know if it's a new formula or this, I don't, or if, I don't know what it is, but these did go away. And what I heard everyone else say that has, I've seen talk about this re-release is like, they didn't know that these had gone away at all. And I was like, I knew that they weren't there, but that's because I, I think that's because I worked in Sephora because I remember these blushes existing, but then I remember some t one time a few years ago, someone asked me to show them blush. And the first blushes I thought of were these. And we walked over to Too Faced and they definitely weren't there. But I guess they're back. I will say the top three shades here are very light and look like they are very powdery. I think the bottom two are pretty. But the top three, I think, is it even a blush? Because it looks like a setting powder. I don't, I don't like those, but the bottom two, yes. The top three, I would say pass. Uh, I do like that. I mean, it says tropical cocoa butter. I wonder if that means it smells like something. Like, does it smell like chocolate? I do not know. But I think these, I think that, uh, I think it's a shame that these ever went away because I think that like, uh, Too Faced often relies on like, cuteness and then also sex appeal it's a very weird dichotomy that they live in but these this was their cutest packaging like these blushes 
And then for a while there, there was nothing over there that really like had the cute packaging. I'm just thinking about like from walking past because their foundation, their, their complexion products are not in very cute packaging, except for the powder foundation is pretty, it's like a pretty compact. So I'm going to put this as a pretty embossing basic makeup because it is cute. I'll give them that. Coming into this a little bit buzzed was like not the best of ideas that I've ever had. I opened up Instagram and the first post was a thirst trap. So, so sorry, I, I opened up Trend Mood and they posted about the Victoria Beckham bronzer bricks and it looks like the pan pops out. So they might sell refills of these. And if they sell refills of these, I might just buy a refill and put it in a magnetic palette. Anyway... There is no comp there is no pictures of anyone holding this compact, which is like what I want. Anyway, beautiful. I'm still into it. I'm that's just a quick aside. All right, so M Cosmetics is releasing the Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. Uh inspired by Moonbeams, skin loving highlighter that wear a beam wear like a wear a beam. What made me do? Look what made do. Ultra sheer multi I'm reading this right. I sort of got ultra sheer, multi sheer, multi chromatic cushion highlighter. I sound so confused about that. I've never worn anything by from M Cosmetics. I I hear really great things about their serum blush that comes in the dropper, but I after trying the what are they called from the cloud blush, the cloud from Glossier. Their, their serum blush was like, I can't, I couldn't make it work. Cloud paint? Cloud paint. I look like an art teacher today wearing this. And well, my face, <laughs> my face period kind of screams like art teacher on any given day. So at first I don't, I didn't see the swatches the first time I, I came, came upon this, but the swatches are bad. They're like, they are multi-chrome, but is that a thing I want on my face? And why aren't there any pictures of it on people's faces? Because in theory, you say cushion highlighter and my brain goes, yes. But as the swatches look like heavy, so I, it probably wouldn't wear like that on the face, but like, hmm. And hmm. It also... What do you, what, I don't know what they're suggesting I apply this with. I don't know. I'm intrigued by the packaging. Uh, I would like to try this. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy this, but I'm not like mad at it. But I also, I need to see more. It's a very, conf it's a confusing product for me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling personally attacked by it. Because it's like everything about it seems to be something that I want. But in my head, it's my head is saying, my drunk head is saying, no. Like a gut feeling of mine says, no to that. No, no. No, 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 no. So this one's a bust as far as my bingo card goes, unfortunately. Fenty is releasing the Bright Fix Eye Brightener, an under eye brightener that easily hydrates, brightens, and conceals. There is fast, natural, no makeup, makeup effect with sheer to buildable coverage, crease, humidity, and sweat resistant. So I guess this is like the concealer that's supposed to play well with their skin tint. There is, there is an orange one. So is it also could be used as color corrector? Maybe that one's a color corrector. I don't know. I don't trust this after I tried the skin tint. Uh, I didn't mind. I've used the other concealer, the, the one that's like the full coverage concealer. I didn't mind it. It was a little bit too dry for my preference with concealer. So I do like that this one's maybe a little bit more hydrating. So I read, I bought a, I just bought a mascara that I like because I was tired of using ones, trying ones that I didn't like. <laughs> so I, I think I'm past just trying to buy something to see if I like it. Like I already have concealers in my collection that I do enjoy and I'm trying to focus not on my channel, not really being about buying new things to review. So like this can, this can miss me. 
but it's fine. It's fine that it exists. But I don't know, I don't know about any other Sephora, but the Sephora that I used to work at, I was in there not too long ago to return the Fenty skin tint. And the Fenty display is now like has three bays and then another bay that is like behind, like you have to turn around to see the other bay. So they, there's like, there's becoming a lot of stuff, which is not bad, but if you're going to force or if, I don't really know which way it is, but now they have, they have a lot of complexions. They have the powder foundation, the hydrating foundation, the original foundation, the skin tint. And now they have, uh, the matte concealers. They have the body foundations. They have all of the highlighters. They have the cream contour and bronzer. They have the blush that is the cream cheeks out collection. And they have the matte bronzers and the powder and the, like there's just so much stuff there are so many skews in this brand uh why do I feel like it feels it, it's you know why it feels like it's too much it's because there's a bunch of shades and everything which is great but it is like overtaking Sephora which I guess isn't really a bad thing because I don't I like a lot of the Fenty product but I don't know if you understand what I'm saying and I don't really know what my point is Another bust for my uh, bingo card. Kiko Milano has released their, or previewed, revealed, their summer 2021 collection. And it is, it is hefty. It has 16 products in it. So we have Blurring Face Primer, Glowing Highlighter, Eyeshadow Palette, Maxi Bronzer, Juicy Blush, Freezing makeup fixer, eyebrow marker in four shades, eyeliner in eight shades. I'm not familiar with Kiko Milano. This is a lot of stuff. Frozen stick eyeshadow, mascara, three shades of mascara, creamy lipstick, watermelon pearly lipstick, juicy lip oil, coconut sleeping mask, watermelon body scrub, and a brush kit. Oh my God, there's a lot going on here. What are those? So Trendmood just like kind of post the photos. <laughs> I feel like it's like, good luck trying to figure out what any of this stuff is. I also, now there are so many things in this collection. I don't even know what to focus on to double down. I kind of wish there was just like a, a too much category on the bingo card, but there is not, unfortunately. I cannot, I don't see anything errant about this collection like it is whatever why are you releasing so many things at once the bronzer the bronzer shade that I can see is uh I, it would work for like one specific person it's pretty neutral looking but you know bronzers can deceive you can buy a bronzer and then take it home and say oh this looks orange on my face so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on the lip gloss square because there's lip oils in it and that feels good to me. Adept Cosmetics is releasing the Kodan, Kodan palette. It has, I'm not going to lie, this is really pretty. I mean, inevitably I'm going to think it's pretty because it kind of strikes a lot of my favorite things right now. It, there's a lot of green going on, which I really appreciate. I love a green. There's like blue greens, green greens, yellow greens. There's a gold in there because of course there's a gold in there. The thing that is interesting is these, are, I think these are two matte shades on the end and one is green and then one is hot pink. And the hot pink one has me going hot pink. With these colors, it looks like such an outlier, even in the swatches, but for whatever reason, my brain is not mad at this. These don't look very shifty. These look to be straightforward shimmers. I know that Adept has had those two, they have two eyeshadow palettes, which are like very multi-chrome, duo-chrome, shimmer, shifty, beautiful. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying these aren't beautiful, but I don't think I can mark it as a... Uh, all the multichromes. 
which is beautiful. I don't know. This is like really pretty and intriguing. And I can't tell if it's intriguing if it didn't have the pink. Because I don't, I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, so many looks. So many beautiful, stunning, inspiring green looks. And then I see the pink and I'm like, what are you doing here? And it's almost like, what would I replace the pink with? But I don't think I want to replace the pink. But I guarantee if I bought this palette, I would never use that pink in conjunction with this palette. I would say, I just want to wear hot pink and I like that one. If someone can some if you are watching this, anybody, would you use those? Would you use this pink in conjunction with any of the other shades in here? Unless no, because none of these like look like toppers. I it would be one thing if there were like topper shades in this palette but it doesn't appear that they all look very they all look very pigmented on in the swatches so uh I don't know this is interesting uh I mean I guess there is like there's like some rosy tones in there but like I would say that drunk me would buy this and I know that it Everything I just said doesn't sound like that's what I would do. But I think drunk me, current me. I will say it's like a, not a strong urge to buy. I guess that's why drunk me is. But like a lot of intrigue. I almost said a lot of intrusion. Intrusion is certainly not a word. Unless it is a word. And then I'm brilliant and intelligent and smart. And talented and amazing. So Sigma is releasing a ambiance. Okay. This is niche Tumblr culture, so follow me. There, or maybe it was it was on Twitter, but then Tumblr made it better. So years ago, uh this this person was talking about a restaurant and they said it had a nice ambiance but they spelled ambiance as um hyphen Beyonce and so anytime I say anytime I'm in a place where it has a good ambiance I'm like ooh the ambiance of this place and uh just really a treat so this is the ambiance palette by Sigma um Beyonce is going to come for you for that money Sigma wow 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 I can't tell you how tired I am of six pan eyeshadow palettes. Four. Four is the most that I'm willing to do. Four is where I cap. No cap. Um, <laughs> am I young? Am I hip? No cap. Okay. But also the, the, tr that, this is like a thing that I see on TikTok a lot, but this is like my TikTok algorithm where it's like people doing a baby voice looking in the mirror as they like talk like this and they's like no cap, which I'm like not even really sure what no cap means, but like I'm saying it. I think it just means like facts, the truth. It's like beyond my comp my comprehension. No cap. <laughs> Sorry, I just, the six pan, like the six pan eyeshadow palette is no. We just don't need it. Or if you only want to buy one highlighter product, sure, sure. But there's going to be shades in there that you can't use. Any brand, don't even try to tell me that you're designing this with makeup artists in mind. Because I was about to say something really shady. But any self-respecting makeup artist isn't going to buy your palette for their kit. Sorry. I said it. This palette is boring. It is so boring. And listen, I love a neutral palette. I do. But there's nothing about this neutral palette that is saying buy me. One, it's in green packaging. So I would expect it to be a little bit olive-y. But from what I can see, it does. I do not see the olive. There's a brush set and lip glosses. I like truly don't care. This is a basic of fuck neutral palette. Nick hat. Ah. 
Oh, I can't wait to talk about these. Uh, I don't think I've ever told that this story on here. So I'm going to tell it because it's a new content for this platform, for, for these friends, for you friends. So Christian Louboutin is releasing palettes, both eye and the face. And my hair went, <gasps> I need, um, I don't need the eyeshadows. The eyeshadow palettes are boring, but these face palettes, both of them, the ants, uh, I love all of the blushes and I would use both of those highlights. Ah, now I'm going to be very honest with you and myself that there is not enough shade range for these blush palettes or like that highlighter The I think those blushes would work on deeper complexions in the darker palette. But I think that highlighter is not going to work on deeper complexions. But I think it's all very pretty. The studs, the studs. And I realize it's interesting that uh, Christian Louboutin studs is their thing because I don't know about you. and I, Maybe I'm old, but studs were like a signature of Hot Topic when I was growing up. And you were like a bad person and you had like studs on your belt or on your uh your leather wristlet, little wrist bracelet. Uh, so, but I don't know how much these are. I think they are refillable because I think that's something that I, I I did see. I The packaging is Scourge. I don't know how much these are going to be, but I'm very intrigued, darling. Because Christian Louboutin has, so far has had like lip product and I like, didn't care for any of that. But these face palettes... Yes, the eyeshadow palettes, even though they're in the black packaging, which in theory I like better. No, I want these face palettes, which come in the red packaging. Very curious about how much these are going to cost. I don't see a price breakdown. I don't know when these launch. The palettes are refillable clutches. Yeah, and it comes with like a, a thing. They come in like a box. I wonder how, I truly wonder how much these are. Now I'm like, what is my cap out price? Like, what is too expensive for these? Like, I'm, they are too expensive. I don't even know what they cost and they're too expensive. I, in my head, I'm thinking, how much is too much for me? Like, what is the out, what is the price that goes, that is too outrageous and I will not. But also maybe I will just wait for the beautiful Michelle Wong. Hey, Michelle, girl. You first. But these are on the list. Miss Victoria and these are on the list. Um, wow. I really blew my load early with the put it on my face and drunk me would buy it. I think that... I think that... It's a bust. Oh, the story I was going to tell that was like new blood. So I took, a, I took marketing in college years ago and the professor was like really old and he had this, he had a newspaper like a physical newspaper clipping from when Louboutin trademarked the red shade that they put on the bottom of the shoots and my professor and I realized that not everyone's into like fashion but he called them Christiane Louboutins and I'll never forget that. So these are two eyeshadow palettes from Estate Makeup. There is the Baby Girl palette and the Sugar Daddy palette. What kind of stupid ass, dumb ass palettes are these? <laughs> The the pink one could be a blush palette. You could use those as blushes. Sure. Maybe not the white ones, but the pinky and the nudie ones. What? Why did you feel compelled to make these? Because I, like I said, there's one thing to make a neutral palette or a pink palette feel compelling. 
even though a majority of it is basic, like, this isn't it. Uh, they, they won from the inside, the way the pants look. They look like Juvia's Place palettes, but I don't know how big these are. I don't have scale to go off of. But what I will say is that this is not it. The, uh, I don't know what estate makeup is either, but they can truly miss me with this. And I'm going to put this down as same shit, new packaging, because it does look like Juvia's Place color stories are much better than this, but it definitely like gives me the vibe of a Juvia's Place palette. So that is how that ended up there. This is a real question. Is I Love Revolution and Makeup Revolution the same thing? Let me know. There's a Little Mermaid collection. We just released last week, two weeks ago, the Kitty Cat Singing Cat collection. The Aristocat collection. <laughs> so, I don't know why we already need a new collection. Like, you didn't even let that one breathe. Is it sold out? Did it sell out? There's no way. I, let's talk about this face slash eyeshadow palette. Absolutely not. Unless, unless, unless this is the only thing you're buying. In your this is this is your only piece of makeup that you own. Sure. But you and I both know damn well that I Love Revolution is trying to cater to the wicked world of this makeup community. So they know better. They know better. Makeup Revolution, they've been around too long to be doing this. To be this. Back to back? No. I, the, no one wants this. No one wants this layout of a palette with the... Where you open it up and there's eyeshadow on one side and face on the other side. No, no, no. No. And there's a single highlighter. Why? If there's a whole face palette of highlighters inside the eyeshadow palette, why are you also releasing a separate... Highlighter. That does not make any kind of sense. What is the point? Why didn't you just make six highlighters in single packaging instead of forcing it to be in the eyeshadow palette? But you know what? I'm really glad you didn't fill it with more eyeshadow like you did in the Aristocats collection. This is garbage, mama. Trash. And like, this is a stretch because there have been so many Little Mermaid collections. I'm putting it in a collab with someone not known for their makeup. Because I'm playing this game and you aren't. And you can't tell me what to do. KVD is releasing cloud paints. <laughs> Serum blushes. Gel. The Mod Cod. The Mod Cod liquid. I, you know what? It took me a really long time to realize that Teresa is dead. Puts a filter on her thing. And I was like, hey, the shot. Um, I, mean, I realize she is doing an affectation whenever she does it. But just like. It took me a little bit too long to realize that she also layers a filter on it. Listen, we talked about these blushes. I can't put these on, can you? And um, it's better than the bite ones. Uh, I think that these colors are better. These are better. They're not, they don't have sparkles in them, which is great. Um, I'm not a liquid blush person. I love cream blush. I think we've talked about it ad nauseum on my channel. But liquid, I don't, it's too, it's, it's too hard to control. Little goes a long way. That's what makes me nervous. This will last you forever. It'll go bad before you get through it. Unless it's the only blush you own. It's the only one you use. But, um, I don't know what kind of packaging I would want this to come in. But this definitely is, like, cheap looking. Does look cheap. But, uh... It's KVD is interesting now, isn't it? Because they did have the locket. Nope. That good apple foundation that everyone lost their bind over and was very divided on, but it was a viral product and that they needed that 
I think they needed that small win because all of those shades are still sold out on Sephora. And I did look because I'm, I'm curious about it. I want to try it. <laughs> I do want to try it. It's on, it's on my list to try. Even though um, it, the hype has passed, there's still something about it that I'm very intrigued by. And I realize I've heard that there is that dupe for it. And like Milani has like a similar product, but that's beside the point. And then, so that was full coverage. And, to, and I don't know. I just feel like full coverage, I'm not trying to like layer a bunch of things on. So I don't know. Because when, when I think of like a liquid blush, and this could be just because Glossier killed my opinion of it. But I think of like light coverage, easy breezy. And when I think of like a full coverage balm foundation thing, it doesn't feel easy breezy. So I don't think that these two products, these two launches like coincide like if they if KVD released a tinted moisturizer or something like that and then released these it's like these go together but i don't i don't i can't see them marketing this with the foundation that they have just released so i guess that doesn't make much sense to me but i also don't know that i've ever criticized another brand for doing anything like that i do not have anything to put this on for my bingo card so i'm just scrolling along I'm getting rip denied. So this is from Caked, Half Caked Makeup. This is a mini matte palette. Oh, Indie Mood. Indie Mood does not do a very good job with their descriptions. Uh, oh, it's called the, I think it's called the Snack Pack. It has some brights and it has some pastels. You know what? This isn't bad. This is like, I see the vision of this, but also like I would never buy this. And I think that uh, like sheer sparkly sniffs is having its heyday in the makeup community. So I think like releasing a matte something for summertime is a choice. Just, but the colors are pretty. Like you almost have like a primary corner in the bottom, even though they're not like true, but you have like a blue, red, yellow. You have a couple mattes that are like neutrals. You have a couple matte neutrals. All of them are matte, Tom. Get it together. I, I think that like if, if you were feeling inspired by this, I think this isn't a bad buy. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know the quality of their eyeshadows, but, uh, now, I don't truly believe this to be a rainbow palette, but it is kind of a rainbow. It has the makings of a rainbow. It's missing like green and blue, but it's a stretch. But I also, I realize I don't think I have a ColourPop release on this one, so I'm not going to be able to get off that center square, which will make it a lot harder for me to get a bingo. <laughs> so this one is really interesting. I, I think so. So Lil Yachty is bringing... Bringing out, launching a nail polish brand called Crete, I think is how it's pronounced. And so it has, it's called the limited, it, it, well, it's the negatives zero, zero, 001. How Pat McGrath of you, Lil Yachty, with these zero zeros. And the, uh, so there are three nail lickers, nail look, lack, <laughs> nail liquor. Nail liqueurs, lacquers. Ooh. <laughs> nail lacquers. Why couldn't I say that? I was like, nail liqueur. Because, <laughs> like, I clearly have something else on the brain. And they have a syringe like look, and it looks like they have like stamps on the one side. So I think this is like pretty cool. And all of the shots are like the, the colors are pretty. I mean, they're, you know, black, white, gray. But they are neat looking. I think these are cool. Like, I, um, I don't know anything about Lil Yachty, but I think it's cool to me. Okay, bear with me because I, I've not ever said any, like my full opinion on like male makeup brands, like Makeup for men. Because I think that's garbage. 
But what I feel like about this, this feels like a very natural release. This, I mean, I don't know if Lil Yachty wears a lot of nail polish. He must if he like going through the process of this. So I don't know. But this doesn't feel like forced or fake. And it doesn't feel like hyper masculine. Like, but like that's not what this feels like to me. This very much feels like a, this is like nail polish for everyone. Anyone could wear this. No matter who you are. And that's what's cool about it. I'm, I don't know that I would buy, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'd buy any of these, but like also maybe I might. Um, but I'm going to put it down for a, a new influencer celeb brand. I lied. I do have a ColourPop release. So ColourPop is releasing some new shades of their Super Shock Shadows. And you know, it's so funny. On my last episode, I just talked about how how much they moved away from the Super Shock Shadows. It'd be nice to see some new Super Shock Shadows. So I feel like I can't be mad at this. So I'm not. ColourPop, I'm giving you a pass on this week. So I'm not going to be too harsh. The colors, uh, you can miss me with those like neutral ones because like that's not, I'm not reaching for a Super Shock Shadow. I, if you're not familiar with the Super Shock Shadows, I think they, a, 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 a punch in your face color is kind of the way to go. Or if you thought the shimmer was so beautiful and the reflect was very pretty on one of their neutral shades, that would be something to also consider. However, this heads up shade it's pink, and then there is purple reflex in it. That is pretty. Am I gonna buy it? No. But it is pretty. And then there's the Moon Daisy shade. It's very pretty. I think everything but those neutral shades are very pretty and very cute. And I think if you don't have that color in your collection, but you wanted to just like branch out to try a fun color, this would be a great way to do it. Put on your finger, put your finger, easy breezy. This is a great summer release color pop. These bright fun shades. That is what I want to see. Um, but I don't want to see super shock shadows every week either because that's missing the point. This felt like a curated, like, what are things that people would want to wear in the summer that they might not buy at full price somewhere else because like it's too expensive, but they want to experiment this, this. Is it? But this is my ColourPop release. I'm gonna mark those that and move right along. Okay, Huda is releasing or launched already the Glow Obsessions Mini Face Palettes. Lightweight Dewy Shimmer Ultra Fine Pearls. This is a new formula. And I think these are set to replace their big square face palettes that no one ever really talked about or used. I. I saw, well, I saw Thomas Halbert use them twice. I saw him when use them when they initially launched and he hated them. Then he used them again later and he didn't seem to mind them because he, for a while there, he was doing like a brand versus brand thing. So he did it with ABH and I wonder how that turned out. I don't remember ever seeing another video in that series. It's a really good idea for a series. Anyway, these are fine. Uh, the deep one, or, like, the one for deeper complexion, like, looks like it would probably work for deeper complexion. But I would say from the light to medium one, not much change there. I don't know if that's, like, a big enough jump. This packaging is absolutely outrageous. No, ma'am. I do not want this, like, middle school did you ever, did you, did you guys ever do like the, I don't even know what it's called, the, the type of art in like middle school where you like, like, I guess it's like screen printing where you like etch out some of the thing and then you put ink on it and yeah, I think that's just called screen print. Is that what that is? I don't know. Don't come for me. I don't claim to know art, but that's, this looks like Huda was like, I'm going to do that. And then she did it and she's like, we're going to put that on a palette. And that seems like a good idea to me. I'll tell you it isn't, Miss Huda. 
that isn't the move. I, the packaging is so obnoxious that I wouldn't eat, like not, I don't really support Huda, but I, I <laughs> that truly is such a deterrent. I think I have to pass on the, like, it's not, I don't have anything for my bingo, unfortunately. Natasha Denona. She answered a call to action I gave her. Unfortunately, I think she missed the mark on the assignment. The mini Zendo palette. Nope. It's just the regular Zendo palette. She's releasing a full size Zendo palette. Uh, well, I don't know if it's a full size one. I think it's going to be one of the $65. The Based on the way the packaging looks and the size of the pans. But, you know, one can never be sure. So what I love about the regular, like the, the mini Zendo is that it's very pretty, right? And I think because of the limited space for shadows, you get those five, you get five pans. You need to be very selective. I think the fact that there are more shades in here takes away how special the Zendo mini was. I love all of this blue green happening on the right hand side of the palette. The, like if you cut off those six, I'd be very happy with that. I'd be very interested in that. And then from like the left, when you go past those blues, there's some goodness happening there. But I will say like the bottom left six shades. So like, those all look like they're from the Love palette, which I did purchase, and I have a lot of the shades left from that palette. I have a lot of the shades left, as in I depotted uh, the shades that I wanted, and then I passed along the shades that I did not. And then you have, like, this warmer top, like, left three. I don't know. I could... So here's the sad part. Something in me wants this. Something in me like deeply wants this. But also does not. And I don't know what it is. Like I'm just sad. I guess in my head I had like. I was like oh one day there's going to be a full size Zendo palette. And one day there's going to be a full size retro palette. And this just, like, isn't the mood for me. But, like, some of it I like. Maybe, I think if I got this, I'd rearrange it. Because you have all the blues on the one side. And I think that's, like, not encouraging playfulness. Let's stay playful together. Because, yeah. Because it just looks to me like everything on that green side is like, okay, I'm going to only use those together. Meanwhile, I think that some of the other shades in here could go very beautifully with those shades. Anyway, I don't think I'll ever get to see this in person. So it would be, uh, I would have to buy it and just pull the trigger on it if this is something I'm really interested in. But I'm not sure that I'm interested in. The other thing, though, is I have a gift card to Sephora and I have a credit card reward from Sephora. So in theory, if it's a $65 one, I would only have to pay $25 if I, bought, if I decided to go that route. But I'm going to see how much those Christian Louboutin things are because I would much rather buy one of those than this. Anyway, I think this satisfies a neutral with a pop of blue. And that, my friends, gets me to bingo. Has anyone seen the TikTok of the kid? He was like, he says something about Star Wars. He's like, your friend might have, he might have whatever. But can he shotgun a seltzer not an alcoholic seltzer but just like a regular seltzer so he shotguns the seltzer fails and he <laughs> he like <laughs> he burps sorry I don't know I can't explain this to you one because it's like a tiktok and like it's funnier to see and then he like burps and he like in a panic He's like, what do I do? And then he turns around and runs right into the garage door. I'm going to have to put it in because... Your man might have the Star Wars Lego set Death Star, but can he chug a sparkling water and not burp? Oh. 
Oh my gosh. What do I do? I'm literally so dumb. I can't. These new collections were it. I think it's like the weirdest set of stuff that I've had to like look at for a new makeup nonsense bingo. Uh, and also what was really weird is I forgot to put the Pat McGrath blushes on this list to do, even though I like fully thought to myself, I need to remember to put the Pat McGrath blushes on here. Anyway, that's something we'll talk about at another time. Not a new makeup nonsense bingo, but I'm definitely going to end up buying one. Because I'm me. I'm a fool. But there are three shades that I like. And I do want the highlighter. Anyway. I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope you go check out Audra. Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Emily Han Han. And Teresa's Dead. Go check them out. And if you wanted to play a game, a version of this. Check out all the stuff in the links below. You don't have to get drunk. You could do some other recreational activity to play along or just not and try to do it with a clean brain and a clean mind but because it's a lot easier that way I've done it that way but we had fun tonight we stayed playful together my name is Hot Mess Tom and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>